Hello there, and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 5. Today we're continuing Let's Play. This is episode 3. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Gran Turismo karting experience in the special events tab, our first special event in the game. Now, I should mention, special events pay out a lot of money. However, uh, they only pay out once. So they are specially prepared challenges with a range of concepts. Each event has their own particular rules and setups. So some of these you bring your own cars to, some of them you have the cars supplied for. In this case, you're bringing your own cart to this, but that's okay because the cart 100 is free for everyone after version 2.0. So everyone will have at least one of these in their garage, if not two, because one of them was DLC. I am using the DLC one, the Gran Turismo Racing Kart 100. The Gran Turismo PDI uh, Racing Kart is the one from the standard game. So there you go. Also, uh, just showing this feature off quickly, uh, you can actually change the numbers on uh, any race car you have in your garage. So that's kind of cool. So in my case, I've gone with my racing number, which is 96. And fortunately, my Gran Turismo Racing Kart came in green. Which is great, because that's my usual racing colour, if I can go for it. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. The first race is at the Tokyo Bay Kart Track, which is a very simple track. These tracks are actually sort of... They're not randomly generated, but they are generated with the course maker. So, in this case, it's using the Tokyo Backdrop for this one, uh, which is kind of interesting to go ahead and see. And, well, as you can see from Gran Turismo karting experience, you drive a go-kart, which is actually rather different to driving a regular conventional uh, racing car. For one, this has an automatic gearbox, or rather it has a singular gear, uh, which is interesting, should make the car a bit easier to drive. Unfortunately, however, karts are kind of weird. For one, they are incredibly reactive with the steering, of course, as you'd might imagine considering they weigh absolutely nothing they're quicker than you might think however the biggest thing you've got to get used to in these carts is the fact that the brakes are only on the rear there is no front brakes in this so that means if you lock it up you're gonna stop the rears from spinning which is gonna put you into a spin so essentially the key to this is to try and brake in a straight line as much as possible if you try and brake mid-corner, you are just going to end up meeting the rear end of the car as it tries to chase after the front end of the cart, I should say. So, yeah, that's something to get used to, but on the whole, uh, these are relatively simple events made simpler by the fact the AI are absolutely naff. At them. They are incredibly easy to beat uh, in these events, which is good considering the cart is kind of hard to drive so if you do go ahead and bin it into a wall which I have done uh, during a kart race in fact you might even see it at some point during this episode I don't remember if I binned it at any point um, yeah it, it is perfectly easy to go ahead and catch back up some so as you can see I got the gold trophy there uh, beat everyone out in this race and I'm going to be awarded 13,000 credits for it, which is quite a nice amount of money. Also, uh, 13,000 XP, or 1,300 XP, uh, which is a lot of XP, a lot of XP and a lot of money. Uh, however, with the special events that comes at a cost, the payouts are only available once. You can only win the Gran Turismo karting experience, or indeed any of the special events that you're going to see. You can only win them once. So, so, for example, if you get bronze, third, you can get the price for silver, you could get the price for gold. But if you go in and you do all these to gold standard, as I'm going to do, you can't do them again and earn money, because otherwise you'd just be able to abuse it. You'd be able to do this kart race over and over again for 13 grand, or, you know, as you'll see later on, some of the payouts for the special events become absolutely redonkulous. Uh, with the amount they pay out and it would just be so unbelievably exploitable so yeah you can only make uh, your money from these ones but you do make a pretty penny for them oh uh, what did you do i'll be sure to mention that uh, reasonably often when it comes to these special events anyways next up we are at the eiffel bay track i believe it is uh which again another course create a track which you can tell because it's just green uh that's essentially i'm trying to tell what the, it's kind of like a sort of brand's hatch if you described it down the phone someone brand's hatch indie yeah actually it does kind of look like that doesn't it interesting uh, but yeah uh, this race is slightly more complicated because unlike with 
the last race there's no sort of walls to keep you on the straight and narrow in this case there's grass and if you put a wheel on the grass then you're probably in a lot of trouble so also pretty weird sort of place to drive a cart around uh, essentially the key to this one I'm finding you're just gonna notice it just through the engine sounds alone I'm doing a lot of lifting in this as opposed to braking I'm lifting because again if I hit the brakes, the rear end's gonna try and meet the front end, and uh, they ain't too happy fellows. So, yeah, uh, essentially just a case of lifting as much as possible. It's a lot easier for me considering I have a uh, Xbox 360 controller, which allows me to actually uh, control how much throttle input I have, uh, unlike the nasty usual DualShock 3. But as you can see, once again, the AI for this are incredibly easy, so if, even if you do manage to cock it up, uh, it is pretty straightforward to win, and I'm an awful driver, especially in carts, because I can't stand these things. So, yeah, the fact that I managed to stay ahead of the competition just shows you how easy these are. So there you go, another 13 grand in the bank, and uh, not a bad day's payout, considering you've just had to ride around in go-karts. Anyways, um, for winning the Gran Turismo karting experience with all gold, you get... Not that, that's for reaching level 7. You get a horn. Yeah, I know, it's nothing too impressive. But trust me, these special events uh, do give out some decent prizes, eventually. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at Jeff Gordon NASCAR School in this special event. So join us for that. Until then, farewell. Yes, I will stay here for from the bruises of life and everything that lay in the